Meeting will come to order. Good evening, everyone. This is a meeting of the Lakeville Conservation Commission. Today is July 27th, 2021. My name is Bob Bouchard and I am the conservation agent for the town. I uh, will do the roll call next. Joe. Present. Nancy. Present. John. Present. Mark. Present. Josh. Okay, absent. And Fred. Present. Oh, good. I remembered. All right. Uh, also, do we have any um, people who wish to speak, either abutters, owners, engineers, pre presenters of any kind? Uh, Darren McHale from Foresight. Hi, Diane. Darren, how are you doing? All right. Uh, do you have anyone else with you? Not that I know of. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, and so I take it then there's no one else. Nope. All right, uh, just before we go, a reminder while we're all here that our next meeting uh, right now is scheduled for August 10th and it looks like it's gonna be in person unless things-, things At the change. police station? At uh, the police station, Back yeah. Back to the police station. Yeah, bring donuts. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, okay. Let's uh, let's get started then. First on the agenda is is Darren. Uh, this is for Devin. Um, you want to give us a, a rundown? Sure. Um, so Darren McHale is from Foresight Engineering here on behalf of the Williams, who own for Devon Drive, uh, an existing two bedroom home right on the pond, with an existing dock and seawall. Uh, unfortunately, the seawall is deteriorating. And since they have to repair that and the only access to get to it, they've decided that it's also time to knock the old cottage down that's been there for 50 years and build a newer house in pretty much the same footprint. Um, so we have several things going on. Uh, we'll be repairing the seawall. We'll be raising the existing house and all the landscaping. Uh, we'll be installing some new septic tanks. Uh, we'll be building a new seawall as shown on the seawall plan there with the turbidity fence in the water. Uh, then we'll be constructing the new concrete patio. And then of course the house would be constructed and we'll also be installing a new septic system, which we just did a perk this afternoon, which will go out front by the garage where basically it says lot area, 11,000 square feet. So that'll be outside the hundred foot jurisdiction. So it won't affect any of the work shown on this filing. Um, so there's a lot of moving parts. Um, Basically, they just want to raise the house and have a forever home. This has been their summer cottage. Uh, they want this to be their last summer and stay up here from now on and then pass this on to their kids. I'm happy to answer any questions that the commission might have. Okay, uh, a couple before we get started. Uh, are there docks included that are going to be replaced or... Uh, there are not. The docks are already there. Um, they were permitted. I included all that with the filing. They do have a pre-existing DP filing for the docks and the seawall that is present. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, we're not replacing the dock or touching that. It's basically saw cutting the seawall where it's, it's fading away and then replacing it as shown on the plan. Okay. Um, now, I was there today uh, just to get a, a look around and mm -hmm. I was kind of um, uh, confused at first uh, in between looking at the plan and the, the layout. There are a lot of buildings, there are a lot of sheds and garages and it's, yes. it's easy to get turned around. Yeah, uh, it's, it's been a family so property for years. <laughs> <laughs> so um, one of the things that struck me was the number of patios, porches, decks, uh, et cetera. How much uh, impervious cover are we talking about with this? Is, you have a chart or anything that uh, sums all of that? Uh, we're not putting, we're actually lessening the impervious area from what it was. Um, the only thing that's getting a little bit bigger is the house. Uh, we're going to eliminate some of those decks as shown on the new plan. You can see that there's simply one deck. that's a two-story deck on top of each other instead of the multi-layered decks that are out there now. And we're also going to remove all that concrete that's kind of like almost like step walls behind the house. And that would mm -hmm. be like a walkout behind the house now. So it'll be a full walkout basement. So it'll be one level when you walk out and then one step down to the seawall and just one deck behind the house. Okay. All right, good. So let's, uh, let's move on then. Uh, let's get started. Joseph, you wanna go first? 
One of the things I noticed was that if you had perk tests done today, that'd be like the fourth perk test has been done by four different people on, on the yeah. lot. <laughs> like if every health engineer we've had for the past two decades is on that plan. Well, yeah, they were on the abutting lot. So basically we were originally trying to save the old system. Um, but because it's going under the new driveway, uh, you know, the Board of Health and myself kind of advised the client, why don't we just replace this now and okay. put the mound in now instead of doing it later. Um, so that's why we did the perk today. We're just a little bit behind because of the schedules. Uh, but I will have a new septic plan into the Board of Health. But like I said, all that work will be outside the 100 foot buffer and the force mains already shown. So we'll just re-angle that to go up the side yard instead. Yeah, it's a very tight area for soils. Um, it's got a perched water table at three feet. Yep. Uh, true water table is down about seven or eight. Um, other than that, it's just a real tight loom, just like every other house on that side of the road. Darren, do you have a way to ch share the plan on your screen? Uh, I do not. I'm at home, unfortunately, on my phone. Okay. Did you get uh, the uh, copy of the plan? Yeah, I have it, but it's on eight, eight and a half by uh, Oh, tiny, tiny. tiny. Yeah, it's, it's a little tiny. 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 <laughs> yeah, so, so basically the house um, is almost the same size as the pre-existing house. We enlarged it in the front to add a two-car garage, uh, and that's what caused the house to get twisted slightly so that it's now parallel with the property lines. So that then causes us to have to fix the septic tanks that were already there. Um, so we're putting new tanks in the buffer zone. So that's definitely a plus rather than having tanks that are 30 years old in the ground. Um, and other than that, it's just pretty standard construction. The, the first thing that'll go in will be the turbidity fence in the water. Uh, and then the sill fence on top of the existing concrete as they start to demo the site. Because there's really no way to get to the back without getting rid of everything in the front. Right. Darren, will you have to uh, take down any buildings uh, to do that? No, just the house itself. Um, the driveway is there, and we probably won't put the septic in until after, so they'll just access the lot in between the garage and the yard area there. Okay. Darren, there was no filing with uh, Freetown, right? Uh, no, sir. I did notify that abutter, though. Yeah. Okay. Because there didn't appear to be any activity in that little bit of the lot that's in Freetown that would uh, to get them involved. Nope. Yeah, that's actually on the next lot. Freetown cuts right through the lot of budding them. So we're we're actually all in Lakeville. Just the lot okay. next to us is half okay. and half. Yep. Mark? Um, Darren, we, you probably know in Lakeville, we have a 25% lot coverage maximum on residential. Yep. And I know you're dealing with pre-existing, but uh, where you're doing so much work and we've come, kind of come across this on some of these other, I'm going to call it cottage small lots. houses, but the small lots with the houses that keep growing on them. Um, because of the floodplain stuff we've gone through, something that the board's tried to do is recharge roof water into okay. the ground so that even if you were over the 25%, it helps to offset and kind of give back some of that lot coverage with recharge. Um, so is that something that you could show us at some point? I don't expect- That would be really that. tough here, Mark, because of the soils, um, because we do a groundwater at three feet. I don't know how I would actually create a recharge that wouldn't just be a pond most of the years. Um, what we could do is we could definitely do some sort of piping system down along the side of the house, maybe with some filter fabric to make sure all the roof drains are running down through something like a, maybe like a Presby pipe or something like that, that has some filtering to it. Uh, other than that, I don't see how I could get drainage on there that wouldn't be somewhat of an eyesore or a mound or where to put it. So it wouldn't be in the middle of the way. It's just not a, it's not a great area and with the slope. I mean, to get downhill, I'd have to put it down near the pond. So then we'd be putting something in right next to the pond also. And it looks like it gets pretty steep right there as well. It yeah, does. it does. That'll be corrected with the new house. Some of that sloping because a lot of it is caused by the multi decks in the back and how they graded it. Um, but keep in mind also that the lot in front, the 25,000 square feet is also a part of this lot. Um, so we do have a total of 36,000 square feet. So I don't think we're near our 15 or 20 percent, but I can definitely do a calculation for you guys and satisfy that for you. Okay. Same ownership of problem. those lots? What's that? Same ownership of the lots? Yes. Okay. 
you can see that they have a garage across the street on that lot right now that's yep. theirs. Okay. Yeah, it's just you you show that this lot actually it says eleven thousand square feet on the lot, so that's what's kind of misleading. Yeah, because it's the private road divides it, but it's the same ownership. So the owner kind of has the feeling it's a separate lot, but I don't think zoning will see it that way. So I, I think it's one lot on how you look at it. And if it hadn't perked well enough today, I would have done my perk over on that lot for this repair and just put the system over there. Yeah. But I think I can squeeze it right beside the garage and the shed right there without a problem. Just like the two neighbors already have theirs there. Okay. But I'll, I'll do a percentage calc for you. That's not a problem. I'll, I'll run a calc and get that in so it's in the paperwork. Thank All you. Right. Thank you. Yep. Nancy. Um, Darren, um, is the house any closer or farther away or exactly in the same footprint? Um, from the, pond? the house is further from the pond by about five feet. Uh, okay. And the decks are further, maybe by five feet. Um, you can see where that darker deck is pulled back from the property line and the existing deck, the stairs actually cross the back property line. Um, so everything is moving further from the pond and a lot of the grading will be pulled back away from the pond too to create that walkout effect rather than just the, the multi-level dirt layers under there now. Okay, um, and this is for the rest of the board. Because of the demolition, that looks like a sizable house because of the demolition, I wanna make sure that in the conditions we get on there about uh, how long you think the demo is going to take, I guess, is my question. I would probably say a few days at least. I mean, they're going to have some trucking in there. That's the main problem in there is getting the trucks in and out. Right. So I'd so, like to make sure that the site's cleaned up at the end of every day. Yep. The machinery's parked back from the pond. Uh, yeah, no anything, stockpiling. Yep. Yeah, no stockpiling. I think that's in our regular order of conditions, but usually we say okay. any debris falling or blowing into the pond needs to be re removed immediately and everything needs to be in some kind of dumpster offsite or cleaned up by the end of every day. Because you never know, okay. it could take three or four days, you know? So, yeah, uh, they'll gonna, probably gonna... park a dumpster across the street next to that garage, if I had to guess. That's probably okay. where the main dumpster right. would be. All right. I just want you to know I'm going to include that in yep. the order conditions. Okay. I would agree with that. Yep. We're okay. right on the pond. There's no reason not to. Right. Okay. Mark? Darren, do you know, um, are they going to use an excavator with a thumb on it to take down the building? More than likely, yes. And is there an existing foundation or is it like uh, up on pilings or something? Or? Uh, there is a foundation. It's mostly like uh, mortared rock and stone and block. It's kind of a mix. So they'll so be removing all that. Yeah. But there's kind of a little hole so that they can actually collapse the building into the hole. Correct. Yes. Yeah. There is a foundation that you can knock a debris into. pile up above ground. It's going to be into the hole and then they'll break it up and pick it from there to put it in trucks and get it out. Yeah. Okay. No, yeah, and you can put that in your conditions too. That you don't want anything stockpiled and dumpsters across the street. That shouldn't be a problem. But I, I, Nancy, I think that it's reasonable to say that the the house will probably come down in a half a day into that foundation hole. They'll probably have to leave the debris within the hole as long as they can. You know, they can only get it out as quick as they can truck it. Mm -hmm. But as long as they have some sort of fencing in addition to probably the uh, siltation barrier. To protect okay. You know, yeah, maybe some filter fabric over it or something like that for the night. Yeah, we can we'll figure something out so it's nothing blowing into so the it's pond. Covered. So it's covered. Yeah. So it's covered, right? Well, yeah, that's what I'm My other question is: the whole foundation coming out? Yes. Yeah, and everything probably, will be coming off the property. But you're only three feet from groundwater. What if you hit groundwater? Uh, down there, we're lower. So groundwater is three feet below grade, but that house is almost a walkout. So we won't really be digging into the ground at all. So if there's no water in their basement now, I wouldn't expect to hit any water. We're not lowering the house at all. We're just leveling off the backyard. All right, so you're not digging a deeper foundation for the new house? No, okay. we are not. No, okay. we worked in all the elevations to hold the same elevation because okay. they needed that elevation to get the garage out the front. We wouldn't be able to get the car in. Okay. I'm good, Mr. Chair. Me too. Oh, go ahead. I'm good. Oh, okay. Uh, Fred, what about you? Well, I, I'm not all that familiar yet with all of the regulations, but I was curious, how many additional square feet is the new house going to be? 
I'm not positive, but it looks like it was mainly the garage. The 24 by 24 was the biggest addition to the house. So uh, it was probably 500 additional square feet to the house, I would guess. What percentage is that? Do you know? Uh, it'd probably be 30% of the house, I believe. It looks like it's about a third of the house. Is, I'm not familiar with the zoning laws, but is there a, a limit? I'm not familiar percentage? either, so I don't know. So you're is at the wrong meeting for that question. Is there a limit on the percentage of increase that can be allowed? No idea. No idea. I, I, I honestly it don't know. It's I don't know that question. I'm not a land surveyor or a builder, so I just I draw the plans and they submit them. Yeah. If, if there was, do you know if they need to go to the zoning board of appeals for what they're doing, Darren? They would if uh, they'll have to go for a building permit and uh, Nate will kick them to zoning if he has to. So I believe we do not have to, and that's the reason for the house getting kicked sideways like that is to keep the property line set back. So I don't believe there is a an increase or anything like that that would trigger zoning. Because yeah. I believe they've already spoken to Nate, and that's why the house was twisted that way. Because the architect is handling all that, not myself. Okay, yep. thank you. Yep. And uh, Josh? That's what they think. I'm all set. Thanks. Oh, okay. So is everyone good? Any, uh, any additional nope. comments? All set. All right. Well, then, do I hear a motion? I make a motion that we close the hearing and issue an order of conditions with all our standard before, after, during, and after construction conditions, including uh, no stockpiling, any debris falling or blowing into the lake will be removed immediately. During demolition, if everything is um, crashed, I guess is the word, into the foundation, that the foundation will be covered at the end of the day so that nothing will be able to escape. And the um, agent will be called to check the siltation barriers prior to the start of work. And, and demolition. And I mean, any work. Okay. Including demolition. All right, that's good. I'll second. We have a motion and a second. Uh, any other discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, say aye. Uh, Mark. Aye. John. Aye. Oh, Fred, you can't vote. Or, or I don't know. <laughs> what Can you vote? You, I know I'll you've been sworn in. I've been sworn in, and I've, I've read through the uh, documents before I came down here, and I think I understand them sufficiently, so... You're good as I far can, as I'm concerned. Yep, I think I can vote. I, well, I, I approve. Okay, good. Nancy? Yay. Joe? Yay. And I say yes. Uh, so the motion carries. But he did. He said it had to be conceived. I also say aye. That's being Josh. Who did I miss? I'm <laughs> sorry, Josh. I'm a little bit late. <laughs> I was reading the screen. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Have a great night. Thanks, good luck, Darren. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. Now we originally had a, a, a second hearing lined up, uh, which is uh, LeBaron, but they're still undergoing uh, the comments from our environmental partners. And so they're, they're not, that hasn't been completed. Although I, I understand that they're fairly close. And so hopefully we can get that wrapped up next time. So uh, I will entertain a motion for continuation. Are we a continuing continue next meeting? which is going to be August 10th. 10th. Okay. That's at seven o'clock. I'll second John's motion. I'm sorry. I second John's motion. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so all in favor, Mark. Aye. John. Aye. Joe. Aye. Nancy. Aye. Fred. Aye. And Josh, I didn't forget you. You got a problem. Can Aye. <laughs> all right. Good. Thank Mr. you. Mr. Chairman. Yes. I flunked natural heritage on that last hearing. So I would just suggest that we don't release the order of conditions until we make sure they've had their 30 days to respond. Yeah, I'm that's, sorry. No, I'm that's even fine. the first one to say that, but I forgot because they did have this right on the pond and they did have to notify uh -huh. natural heritage. And I don't think it has to be in the, in the motion that you make right. sure we wait the 30 days. 
Right. It's in the okay. right. Okay. So yeah, it, it'll take us that long to get it out the door anyway. So okay. all right. Um I don't have my agenda in front of me. I think we have some minutes. Yep. Did anyone have a chance to look at them? I'm taking a look at both sets of meetings. I forget the dates right now. They both April 13th, April 27th. Thank you. And they both seem to be correct and error free. All right. So let's uh, have a motion to uh, to approve. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes for April 13th, 2021 and April 27th, 2021. Okay, we have a motion, we have a second. Second. Okay, all those in favor, just say aye. 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 Right. aye. I think I abstained because I don't think I was present at one of those meetings. Oh, okay. Correct. I would have to abstain as well. All right. And uh, uh, Mr. Chair, could I, back up a step and just ask a question. I know we're not having a hearing tonight about LeBaron, but I just wanted to understand why we're doing a, looking at an ORAD for them and they're building houses over there already up along that riparian zone. So what's the, what's the uh, I'm sorry, what's the question? Which is why are they doing it? Why are they doing an ORAD or why are they already building the houses if they're asking to redelineate this line? Yeah. Well, are they these, gonna do more are, work along this that's not approved right now? These houses were not originally part of the plan. They weren't approved. Mr. Chair? Yes. When we were there, they explained to us they want they don't wanna, I don't think they're building houses on that line right there, unless right. you've seen something we didn't. They want to put two more giant buildings on that line. And to do you know that, the, build they, they the need building more that's already right, right. right. The building that's already there, the big one. They want to do two more of those. They don't want to do houses. They want to do two more giant buildings. That's why we thought, Bob and I walked out there and that's why we thought it was really important to figure out and in if order it was just a house or two, it would be okay. different. That, that's my Sorry, question. That, that answered the question is that it is for more construction. Yeah. Yes. Um, they just simply need more room. So to go back to the first hearing, Nancy, you had asked about natural heritage. Yeah. I, I texted Darren and he did hear from them. He sent me a picture of the the letter from Natural Heritage with the approval. Yeah. yeah. So I, te I texted it to you. Okay. I'm good. That's all. I just, I usually always that. ask that question first and I forgot. No, nope, no problem. I figured I had his number so I'd follow up with him. Okay. Great. Thank you. Welcome. So, any other issues? No. All right. Then. A motion to adjourn. Wait. Oh, one, oh. One, one, one more quick thing. I'm sorry, Mark. Um, no, I would hope, beat me to it. Well, I don't want to wait until the last minute. I hope that we hear back if um, Mr. Chairman, if you could kind of keep an eye on them. I don't want to wait until two days before the hearing and then we all get something back from LeBaron. They really need to to step it up because we're going to get blamed for our dragging out. And mm -hmm. if they don't give it to us until the last minute, you know, we usually ask for plans and stuff 10 days before the meeting or we have to vote on them. So yeah. maybe a phone call to them to say, we don't want to wait till the last minute to see whatever it is they're answering with, because I just think this is a really important thing. There are so many houses. I don't know, Mark, last time you drove around in there or anybody, Very there dense. Just houses upon houses upon houses. Upon and was, apartment buildings and apartment buildings. Right. Yeah. And I, you know, I know it's a, 40B or whatever it is, so they can bypass some of the zoning. But usually, things like this are cumulative. You know, how much are we going to let them put in there? Because whatever those big buildings are, I have a feeling they're still going to be in the buffer zone. So I don't want to wait till the last minute to try to have to figure it out. So they need to get us the stuff. I think that's probably a question that should be posed to Brad Holmes is to see if the Commission has the ability or the rights to uh, uh, stave off some of the development because of the density that they've already put into that uh,
call it square footage with the five phases that they're working on within the buffer zone. I agree. So, it hurt to ask. I, you know, I'm not looking to make more work for you, Mr. Chair, but if you don't mind asking that question, I think that's good information for us to come back to the next hearing with. No, definitely. I'll look into Thank it. You. And, and then what comes next in the next phase? What, what additional? Right. Skyscraper. <laughs> yeah, you have to go up now, right? Yeah. Uh, all right. So are we good? Good. I have a motion. I'll make a motion to adjourn. I'll second. Motion is, is um, seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you all.